Alright, so uh, here we have my little open sourced uh, diversity receiver powered by Arduino with the contact receivers. Um, this is a case I got for the thing on Amazon. Uh, it's going to eventually be powered by these little uh, 1000 milliamp hour 3 cell. It's actually an airsoft pack, so it can uh, the cells kind of come apart and you can uh, configure them however you want inside the case. Um, it's got the long surface mount buttons, so it protrudes to the case, and uh, anyway, it all works pretty well. But I haven't finished hooking everything up yet, so um, I actually am going to have to take the circuit board out of the case real fast to power it up, and then I'll show you how it works. Alright, so uh, I took the lid off this thing real fast so I can power it up. Uh, like I say, until I get a switch and all that stuff uh, and wire up the battery, it, uh, it still doesn't work uh, on its own yet. So uh, I'm just going to power it externally. I've got a little uh, cell phone charger cord that I cut the end off of, some old Nokia charger or something like that that nobody uses anymore, and just uh, put a servo lead onto it. And uh, it supplies a nice clean 5 volts to power this thing with. Um, so anyway, I'll go ahead and power this thing up and hopefully it'll focus on the screen as, uh, uh, as it goes through the uh, initialization process and powers up. So uh, anyway, it's, uh, as soon as it turns on it automatically scans uh, frequencies to try and find one that uh, you've already got powered on. Uh, in this case I've got a little receiver down here uh, or sorry a transmitter down there that uh, I haven't actually powered up yet so it didn't um, find anything. It's saying low signal. I don't have any uh, antennas connected to either of the two receivers uh, but down here you have the RSSI outputs of each receiver. There's a little bar graph that goes up and down and shows the signal strength of the two receivers. Um, so anyway, I'll go ahead and power this up, or my uh, transmitter up real fast. If I switch here, I can run through the menu. Uh, it's got auto search, band scanner. Uh, I don't know if this is going to show up on the camera or not, but band scanner, um, which is it's going to search for the um, channel and all that stuff that's on. Um, manual mode, you can manually select which uh, frequency you want. Um, diversity, um, you can actually turn diversity on and off and just either have it come from one receiver or the other. Um, I guess that could be useful in certain instances, like if you were trying to fly long distance and one of your buddies was flying nearby or something like that. Um, anyway, and then there's setup down there as well. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go uh, turn this on. You can hear my power source boot up. And there it goes. Found the frequency with the strongest signal. And that's it locked on the frequency. So uh, anyway, that's pretty cool. Um, and you can see the bar graphs down here. They're both at full signal more or less. Even though there's no antennas, the transmitter's sitting really close to it. So... Um, the signal strength is pretty strong. Um, we'll go back here to the band scanner. And you'll see the bar graph along the bottom peak where the frequency is the strongest. So if you're at the flying field or something like that, and uh, you want to maybe examine the, basically do uh, a search and examine which signal uh, would be best for flying in that location. Uh, you can do that. So you'll see it scans once every few seconds. If I turn the transmitter off, there goes the signal. And now you can see the noise floor is pretty low all the way across the 5.8 band. And uh, um, so really any frequency or any channel would work pretty well. Turn it back on and you'll see all of a sudden the peak where the signal is the strongest. So you would want to come back in and pick a channel at the other end of the band if possible. So anyway, it's kind of a cool little tool for uh, selecting a frequency at the flying field or whatever. 
Um, and then I can go back to the menu, go to auto search, and uh, find my frequency again. Auto locks, and then goes to like a home screen that shows which channel, uh, what the signal is, and all that stuff. You can also um, have it um, like display your call sign on the screen if you so desire. Um, you can also see here the LED switching back and forth that's indicating which of the two receivers is active at the time. Um, it's switching back and forth obviously right now because there's uh, it's so close and the, there's no antennas on the receivers. So Anyway, it's kind of a cool little uh, tool and uh, it's pretty easy to build. Um, set this down for a second. I've got all sorts of parts back here. Um, this is all the stuff I used to build this thing. Um, it actually cost me quite a bit to buy all the little pieces, but this is a uh, uh, circuit board. I've got two extras actually. I may build another one, but uh, we'll just see. I um, also have all the Comtech tuners, um, extra Arduino, there's another transmitter, all the little uh, SMA connectors and ports, resistors, LEDs, everything. So, anyway, it's a quick overview of the open source Arduino powered uh, diversity receiver.